Welcome back to Economic Insights. Both economics and physics play crucial roles in addressing the world's most complex and significant challenges. However, even though they share the language of mathematics, employ systems approach methodologies, and utilize alike statistical tools, these two fields are fundamentally distinct, making them seem like separate worlds. There is such a big difference between economics and physics that it has led some people to question the status of economics as a science. Are you curious about what I'm referring to and how this knowledge helped George Soros make billions on it? Stay tuned. Of course, economics and physics study quite different subjects. Physics is a natural science that examines the fundamental principles governing the universe. It seeks to understand and explain the behavior of matter, energy, space and time, while economics is a social science that studies the production, distribution and consumption of goods and services. It seeks to understand how individuals, organizations and governments allocate scarce resources to satisfy their needs and wants. However, this distinction is just the tip of the iceberg. I am talking about another, more profound difference. Consider what we do in natural sciences like physics or chemistry. We try to explore things as they are, to understand the laws of nature, to describe them and use them for our benefit. We strive to make these laws as strict and pure as possible. When experimenting with nature, we aim to isolate ourselves to eliminate any bias, external influence or contamination of the experimental conditions. Then, when we come up with a law, formula or model describing how specific phenomena work, we can verify them against reality. This allows us to use these models repeatedly in our activities. Now, let's think about what happens if we describe the movement of planets with the incorrect formula. Essentially, nothing changes. The planets will continue their journey regardless of our understanding and models. However, it is not how it works in economics. In economics, we cannot exclude ourselves and other humans from the equation. We not only explore reality, trying to capture it with our models and frameworks, but our understanding of reality itself, the models we use and the concepts we believe in all impact reality. If we expect that the price of sugar goes up and we consume it, we may decide to buy some more extra. And so may other people. And where will the sugar price go? Right. It's a so-called self-fulfilling prophecy. Actually, that's how it works with all the social sciences. The Thomas theorem, a cornerstone in this field, states, if men define situations as real, they are real in their consequences. If we believe in the future and value of Bitcoin, it will have a future and value. In a nutshell, in natural sciences like physics or chemistry, we mostly have a one-way relation between reality and our understanding. Let's not delve into quantum physics today. Generally, we try our best to push the boundaries in reaching our knowledge about how the world works, so the sciences in those fields are descriptive by their nature. In economics, we usually have a two-way connection between reality and our understanding of it. It is not only the world around us that feeds our knowledge, our economic theories, beliefs and mental models shape reality as well. And at some points in time, the influence of our understanding and beliefs becomes a decisive power in the markets. That allowed George Soros to develop his theory of reflexivity and earn billions on his market operations. He openly discussed this in his famous book The Alchemy of Finance. Economics is not destined to be just a descriptive science. And we can hardly act as objective and unbiased actors in economics. That's why the ethical side, not just the scientific aspect, is so important here. Please let me know if you found this video insightful. If you are interested in a deeper exploration of this topic, don't hesitate to mention it. You may also hit the like button, share, comment and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.